In the last couple of lectures, we have learned about updating the elements of an array field. So we learned how to update the first matching element of an array field. And we also learned how to update all the elements of an array field. Now in this lecture, we are going to learn how to update only the matching elements of an array field. Not just the first matching element, but all the matching elements of an array field. Let's try to understand it with an example. So let's go ahead and let's query the employees collection. And from the employees collection, we want to fetch all the documents where the skill level is greater than or equal to six. So for that, we are going to use this dollar GTE operator, which stands for greater than or equal to. And to that, we are going to specify the value six. So in the employees collection, whichever document has a skill, where the skill level is greater than or equal to six, that document will be filtered here. So if we run this command, you will see these many documents have been filtered. And if we go through each of these documents, you will see that in the skills array, we have one skill, which is equal to six. So that's why this document has been filtered here. In the second document, there also we have one skill where the skill level is greater than six. Then in the third document, here also we have one skill where the skill level is greater than six. And in this document, we have two documents, two skills where the level is greater than or equal to six. So what we want is from these skill arrays, we want to get all the skill documents where the skill level is six or greater than six. And we want to update those skill documents those skill elements we don't want to update all the skill elements and we also don't want to update the first matching skill element we want to update all the matching skill elements in the document where the skill level is greater than or equal to six and we want to do this for each of the documents how can we do that that's what we are going to learn in this lecture so again let's say db dot employees dot update many because we want to update multiple documents here in the filter criteria the filter criteria should be skills dot level it should be greater than or equal to six okay so this is our filter criteria and once we have found the documents where the skill level is greater than or equal to six then in this skill array we want to update those skills where the skill level is greater than or equal to six. So for that, we are going to pass the second argument to this update many. There we are going to use dollar set operator. And in here, we need to get all the skill elements, all the skill documents where the skill level is six or greater than six. Now, how can we do that? So first of all, we are going to get the element from the skills array. So let's say skills dot and if I use dollar here, in that case, it is going to return us only the first matching document. So for example, for this document, it will only return us this matching document where the skill level is six. So it will satisfy this condition. Okay. And the second document also satisfies this condition. But since I'm using dollar here, it is only going to return us the first matching element. And that's not what we want. If we use dollar and after that, if we use square brackets like this, this is going to return us all the elements from the skill array from the filtered documents. So for example, this is one of the filtered documents in this filtered documents. We have the skills array, which has three elements. So all these three elements will be returned by this dollar and then opening and closing square bracket that also we don't want. We only want to get the matching documents and we want to update those matching documents. So how are we going to get the matching documents? For that, to this square bracket, we can specify a variable we can say. So let me call it as EL. And I'll explain what this EL is. And then how do we want to update the document, the skill elements? Let's say on that, we want to add a new field called expert. So if the field already exists, we want to set its value to true 
and if the field does not exist this field will be created and it will be assigned with the value true so for example here for this skills element we already have this expert so no change will happen in this one but for other skills where the skill level is 6 or greater than 6 this expert field should be added and it should be assigned with the value true now here we also need to pass a third argument this is also going to be an object and here you can set upset or you can set right concern or any other option but here we are not going to set upset or right concern here we are going to set another option called array filters to this we need to assign an array and here we need to specify the condition with which the filter should happen here so here we want to say el dot level this should be greater than or equal to 6 so for that we are using dollar gte and let's specify this value okay and here let's use curly braces it should not be an array so basically what we are telling here is this el is going to store some element from the skills array now which elements it is going to store it is going to store all the elements from the skills array which satisfies this condition where the level property is greater than or equal to 6 so only those elements will be filtered here and on that this expert property will be added and set to true okay so let me copy this let's paste it here let's run this command okay so array was correct here but this here it should come within curly braces okay so the elements of this array should again be an object like this all right let's copy this let's clear the shell and then let's paste the command which we have just copied and now if i press enter you will see five matched counts and modified count is three now why the modified count is three because for some of the documents the skill elements already had the expert field so those documents were not updated now let's go ahead and let's query the employees collection where skill level is greater than or equal to six if i press enter now you will see that for whichever document the skill level is greater than six or equal to six this expert is added so earlier for this document the expert was already there here the expert has been added for this skill where the level is greater than six but not for this one in the same way in the third document this expert true has been added to these two fields these two elements but not to the third element because there the level is not greater than or equal to six so in this way we can update all the matching elements of an array field now there is one more thing to note here is if you see the filter condition here and the condition which we are specifying inside this array filter both are same but this need not to be same your filter criteria can be different the condition in your filter object it can be different and the condition which you are specifying in the array filter that can be different and in that way also it will work in the same way okay so it is not required that the condition in the filter criteria and the condition in this array filter both have to be same that is not the case all right so this is all from this lecture so in the last few lectures we learned how to update an existing element of an array field but now in the next lecture we are going to learn how to add a new element to an array field this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day